Hi guys, a quick tip to help you with your business. Now let's talk about creating website pages with floating objects. This is a very, very popular technique that you want to learn. If you're managing your own website, this is a very, very good skill to have in your skill tool belt. Now you can see the example here of the ice cream with the, the pink header. So we've got the menu, the title, and then the pink sort of flows like ice cream behind it. That was easy to do. It took me about two minutes to do that. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do that today. The last example here I have is myself on a red background, a red header with the red line coming through the top of my head there and the gray below. Now you can apply all different colors, all different shapes uh, to achieve this result. Once you understand the basic technique, you can take the technique across to your website and create these same style of pages with floating objects. This is a beginner level tutorial. Uh, anyone can take knowledge from this uh, tutorial. It's, it's going to take about five minutes, five to ten minutes, and you won't need a great deal of skills to get through it, okay? You don't need to be a designer or a web designer to get through this tutorial. You will need the following applications. WordPress. Now, if you are embedded into the Wix system or the Squarespace system or something similar, you can still take some of the knowledge from this tutorial, so don't worry too much. Uh, I recommend you use the Uncode WordPress theme if you're following along here. That is the theme that we recommend for all of our clients and it is the only theme that we roll out across all our professional websites for our client base. You will need Adobe Photoshop. You may be able to get around this with another program but Adobe Photoshop is only $10, sorry, $14 Australian per month to subscribe to with Adobe and it is a fantastic program. I highly recommend you subscribe to Adobe Photoshop if you are managing your own digital content. Uh, you will need access to unsplash.com. Now, unsplash.com is a free uh, repository for images, for photos. Now, you can take all these photos and use them in a commercial facility, uh, commercial fashion that is on your website without breaching on any copyright laws. So head across to unsplash.com and uh, take any photos that you need from there. Now, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a web page. So, I've got a template set up here that I'm calling Cafe Latte. So our goal in the next five minutes is to create a page that displays a coffee cup that has been cut out with some words and a background behind it in the same color as the coffee. A bit of fluff coming in my face there. Okay, so we've created a title for the page. Now we're gonna go and look at the header. Now the header in Uncode theme, we are using a basic header. Look at the header for you guys who are using different themes is just the part at the top of the page that has the title, the menu and so forth. We call that the header element. So we have, we have simply styled the header with a background color that I've already added to my color palette in the website options. And the color I have added is coffee brown. And I have sampled that color from this image that I have taken from the unsplash.com website. Let's head across to Unsplash real quick and you can see here is the image I have taken. I've just simply searched for coffee and Unsplash has given me all these free images. I've downloaded one of the images. I've credited the author with a bit of a thank you. Uh, you just have to click on thank you. It's, it's no big deal. You just credit the author there. And uh, then you go into Photoshop and we are going to uh, sample the image. So I have sampled with a um, brush tool. If I click on B for brush and click on option, I have sampled the color here and the color comes up here and I can take the color code which here is AC713E and I can put that into my website color palette. It's that easy. Take the brush tool option click and you can sample the color code there. So back to the web page. Let's get rid of Unsplash for the moment. The web page has the coffee brown as the background in the header. And here in the preview, we have the header. So the header is a fairly flat, basic looking header. We're gonna style that in just a moment. But you can see the cafe latte color, or the coffee brown color, as I've called it in the palette, has been applied to the header. So now let's go and put in the magic where we cut out the coffee item and place that in our page. So let's zoom in. And all you need to do in Adobe Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop 2020, is click on the select tool here, the quick selection tool, then go up to select subject. And, and Adobe with its, uh, sorry, a Photoshop with its magic 
is going to determine what is the subject and it is going to select that for you. You can see the marching ants around the saucer and the spoon here. Now all we need to do then is click on the mask tool. Once the mask tool has been clicked it will crop out only that item. Okay. Now Photoshop has also selected the leaves and the cushion here but that's fine we can crop that out fairly easily. We'll click on the crop tool a shortcut to that is just press C and let's scale this right down to the edge of the cup and there we go and you can see that we have almost with the exception of that cushion cropped out our coffee cup so if I press enter all we need to do now is select the um, brush tool B for brush and we're going to get rid of that coffee cup by enlarging the brush and make the color black. Black is for conceal, white is for reveal and make sure you're selected, you have selected the mask here and if I go across there with the black brush it will take out that item fairly easily. So again we have cropped out our coffee cup. All we need to do now is save that so we'll go file export as and we're going to export that as a PNG file. So we're nearly there guys, we've got about three minutes to go uh, and we're going to make this, I think we'll make this 1000 pixels uh, squared and it's a P, make it a PNG, so click up here on PNG and we're going to export. Save that to the desktop as coffee cup and that's a .png file, boom, done. Now let's close that down, we won't save that. Let's go across to our web page and we're going to add in that coffee cup. So the first thing we want to do is add an element. Let's add a row. Now the row here we're going to uh, style the background of the row. So the row settings, we'll click on the little pencil icon here and we go across to dividers and on the top we are going to have a default divider and let's choose something in the shapes. The shapes here we have to choose from. You can upload your own shapes, but we're going to choose uh, something that sort of represents coffee. Let's say, uh, let's choose, mm, I quite like this, this wavy one here, waves opacity, okay? Let's choose that. And we're gonna make the shape color coffee brown. Okay, we head down to coffee brown, there it is. So the shape, the divider will appear below the header. Let's make the height of it 200. Save. Now let's preview the changes and you can see that the shape will appear just here below the header. This is a really really handy tip to make your websites pop, okay? Make your web pages pop and look professional. So you can see that header is appearing there. There's nothing below it yet. We haven't put any content in our row so it's cutting into the footer but that'll be fixed in just a moment. So let's add, sorry, let's add a um, column to our row. So we're going to make this one 50-50. So we'll click here and we've made that two columns, okay? Now let's add an element which is a single media. The single media is a placeholder for your coffee cup, okay? We can use PNG files, we can use movie files, YouTube files, anything you like. So we're going to upload our coffee cup from the desktop. It's uploaded now, let's click on save. And we're gonna add some text here. We'll add, we'll add a simple text block that is just lorem ipsum text. So you can see here lorem ipsum, lorem ipsum is just uh, placeholder text until you change it yourself. And we could adjust the height of the row. Let's make this, uh, let's adjust the padding of the row. So the padding is the empty space below it. If you want to, if you want to have more padding uh, below your row, we can make the, the bottom padding three times. That just puts a bit of empty space between the picture and the footer. So if we click on preview changes, we'll come, come across here and we will see that our coffee cup being a PNG file with nothing behind it, uh, will appear floating on top of the divider or the header element with the divider below it. Okay, there we are. The coffee cup is floating there. There's nothing behind it. Now we could adjust this header uh, divider and make it cut through the back of the coffee cup just by uh, increasing the, um, the height of the divider. So we'll go across to dividers and we'll scroll down to height and we're going to make it 400. Okay, it's double the height that it is now, click save, 
preview changes and that'll simply bump that down a bit lower. So you can see that's now cutting into the back of the coffee cup, which is what we wanted for this example. Now the text is obviously um, not very contrasty. You might want to change that to white text. Uh, if we look at the ice cream object here, I've simply put a background color behind the column. So we can do that really easily. It makes it look professional. Let's go across here to the column that holds the text. We'll click on the little pencil icon and we'll click on uh, style background color let's make it something like a light gray you could you could choose um white what might you know white white might look good let's try white uh, click on save changes preview changes and you can see that that text now as it reloads will have a white background that cuts into the brown and looks kind of professional okay i recommend you put a bit of a gray a light gray so that when it cuts into the um the empty space below the header it'll have some contrast as well so that's a pretty basic example guys now you can go one step further if you want and add animation to your images if i refresh this page you'll see that the ice cream will scroll up from the bottom we'll do it one more time so you can see it scrolls up from the bottom and you can animate the headings as well i've animated the heading here to scroll up at the same time and you can add delays you can make the heading zoom in and out you can add all sorts of uh, basic um, animations and you do that really easily if we click on uh, the media icon here and then just go into the settings you can see here there's a setting for animation now if i was to do um, let's do left to right click on save changes click on preview changes and come back here you'll notice when it loads or when it refreshes the, the coffee comes in from left to right let's refresh it one more time and left to right so you don't want to get too gimmicky with your um, your animations they can really take away from a website but some really subtle soft animations like like um, fade from the bottom or fade left to right can add a nice sense of style and uh, professionalism to your website so guys that's the end of the tutorial i really hope you've learned something uh, this is a great way to create web pages that again they they look like it's been done by a professional web designer they'll really make your website pop now if you need any help with floating objects on web pages reach out via the link above or below and I'm happy to chat with you today, no charge. Thanks very much.